for the CSPN in partnership with Mason Local Sports Radio. It's the Weekly Preview with Matt Beebe and Alex Day. Welcome to this edition of the Weekly Preview. This is Alex Day alongside Matt Beebe. And the Mason Comets will travel to Fairfield this week after coming off a tough loss to the Colburn Cardinals. Matt, let's break down the Fairfield Indians right here. Well, they're 2-4 and four overall this year with an 0-3 record in the GMC, but they only lost last week to Sycamore 48-41, who are 5-1 and one this year. Fairfield started off 2-0, and oh, but now they're currently ranked 8th in the GMC. But on a good note, they're leading the GMC in passing yards with 155 yards per game, and last week against Sycamore they had 454 yards. On the defensive side, they're a little shaky, ranking 8th in the GMC, allowing 331 Point three yards per game, and the rush defense isn't very good, allowing 217 rushing yards per game. In their pass game, they're allowing about 114 pass yards per game. Well, on a positive note, is that offensive side of the football, and the offensive side of the football is led by quarterback number one, Miles Harris, the senior. He's first in the GMC with passing yards, with 735 and eight touchdowns. He has a completion percentage of 58.7. And he's also the second leading rusher on the team with 60 attempts for 121 yards with one touchdown. So they're going to look to put the ball up in the air a lot this week. And last week with him throwing 450 yards, I mean, he's most likely going to put the ball up even more this week. Um, when they do run the football, they're going to give it to number three, the running back, Todd Hoard, the senior. He doesn't get many carries, only having 49 attempts on the season, but he does have 188 yards with four touchdowns. So when they do put the ball on the ground, look for number three to be running it. And the big play guy, the wide receiver, Jimmy Trothwine. Trothwine leading the receiver on the team, fifth in the GMC, with 15 catches, 250 yards, and three touchdowns. So not a significant amount of catches, but a lot of yards. A lot of um, averaging 16.7 yards per catch. Um, He's going to be the big play guy. So look for him when the Fairfield Indians look to put the ball up in the air deep. On the defensive side of the ball, we have two um, defensive backs for the Indians. Number 22, the senior, Mike Williams. Best player on their defense, Williams, is fourth in the GMC with three total sacks and 43 total tackles on the season, along with two interceptions. So he can do, he's an all-around guy. He'll blitz and get to the quarterback or he'll drop back and pick one off. And finally, the n- number four, the defensive back, Jordan Adams. 20 and a half tackles on the season with two sacks. So he's also a guy that's pretty significant on that defensive side of the ball for the Indians. And Matt, let's give your keys to the game, Beep's keys. Well, number one, we got we got to give Daryl Johnson the ball. He's the number three leading rusher in the GMC, and he's going against that eighth-ranked defense. And we, as we talked about, the rush defense isn't pretty good. So if we can get Daryl Johnson the ball, he's going to have a big game. Number two, we got to shut down Miles Harris in his arm because he's the number one pass in the GMC, as we talked about. And if he if he gets going, and he gets the deep ball going. You know, it's going to be a shootout. We don't want to get in that. We want to shut him down early. And number three, we got to avoid turnovers. You know. The past few games, we've had some costly turnovers. Just let's try to keep 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 our drives going, not fumble the ball inside the red zone or throw any interceptions. If we can do that, now we're going to put points up on the board, and our defense is going to do its job. And then number four, we're going to have to play with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder. You know, we had a tough loss last week, homecoming week. You know, we come back, it's Fairfield's homecoming week this week, so play with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder and come back ready to ruin someone else's homecoming week like Corrine did to us. Yeah, like we've said in the past, um, when you're chosen for the homecoming week game, you're pretty much deemed the the lower end of the conference or however you want to say it. Fairfield's p- pretty much picking this game thinking that they're going to win it and start their homecoming week off right. So I believe we had Fairfield for our homecoming week last week, or last year, excuse me. So it might be a little revenge on on their part too. But we do need to avenge that loss last week. And that'll lead us into our predictions. I'm saying after last week's bitter loss to start and start to homecoming, the Comets will improve to four and three on the season this week. Um, Daryl Johnson's going to have himself one heck of a big game this week with the shaky defense of the Indians, and the quarterback Jensen Harris will uh, throw his first touchdown pass in the green and white this week. I'm taking the Comets 35 to 16. I agree with you too. Uh, I think Comets are going to win, move on four and three. You know, I think the Comets are going to come out angry and ready to play after last week, ready to prove something. And I think Daryl Johnson's going to have a huge game. The Comets are going to pull one out, 31 to 21. Well, that is going to conclude this 
episode of the weekly preview. On behalf of Matt Beebe, this is Alex Day. We invite you to listen to us live, Mason.LocalSportsRadio. Friday night, we will be in attendance at the game. So if you can't make it out, be sure to tune in, Mason.LocalSportsRadio. Kickoff is at 7.30. So on behalf of Mason Local Sports Radio, in partnership with the CSBN, this has been the weekly preview.